in this grade 12 mathematical literacy video we are looking at the paper 2 scope for your may june examination we have already done the scope for paper 1 examination and now we are going to focus on the topics that you can expect to find in your paper 2 examination as we all know that the difference between paper 1 and paper 2 are exactly only one weekend so you will only have saturday and sunday for you to be able to catch up with your paper 2 so my agency See, what I urge you to do is that do not wait until you are done with your paper one to only start preparing for paper two. First and foremost, we all know that paper two is the one that is the most challenging. And so you can't leave it for the weekend of only two days after you're done writing your paper one to start with it. As we are going through our scope, we will do so with an aid of a question paper that is linked in the description box below. So make sure you download it. The first thing you can expect in your scope is what we call the 20% level 1 questions and these are usually found in question 1 of your paper. The 20% level 1 questions look different depending on the paper that you are dealing with. We know that in paper 1 what you are expecting in this section of your question paper will be things like your ratios and your calculation of percentages and calculating decreases and increases in terms of percentages. It is mostly looking at a picture and answering questions based on the picture or the graph or either illustration that you have been given. So they become basic questions that are heavily reliant on whatever illustration you have been given or the case study you have been given. But when we come to paper two, they look a little different in that they are more heavy in terms of the knowledge that is required for them. So the 20% level one questions in paper two are the type of questions that you're going to need to study for. So they're going to be your conversions. They're going to be heavily based and focused on your measurement and all the other topics that are, re are in your paper two specifically. So for example, as you're seeing there, your question 1.1 wants you to start off by defining the term parameter. So think a definition of parameter in paper two becomes what we call a level one type of question also the thing of converting from length to meters and also using your formulas your parameter formulae all of those things become what we the 20 percent level one questions because we know that in paper two basically in general you know you're expecting heavy things when it comes to measurement you're expecting to be able to calculate your uh packaging you are expected to calculate your, your total surface areas so things that can seem like there will be easy questions as far as measurement is concerned you can expect to find them in your first question as your 20 percent level one questions you are seeing in 1.2 they have given you a simple scenario it has to do with cycling there's a lot of miles and kilometers so what you can expect there is that your knowledge of imperial system versus the metric system has to be in check you have to be able to convert from imperial system to metric system by imperial system i'm talking about things like your your miles you need to now convert them into kilometers because you know that when you're dealing with units you are supposed to work with the same kind of unit so the moment you are seeing that our question is based on kilometers and all of a sudden in bullet one the vineyard is told to be 75 miles that's gonna mean that you need to convert so those conversions become part of your 20 percent level one questions the second topic on your paper two scope for your may june examination is the maps and scales you can expect maps and scales to be the second largest topic when it comes to your paper two. I'm saying topic, not question, because I'm expecting that it will be sprinkled throughout different questions. So you will find traces of maps and scales when you're looking at your question one. You will find it heavy in question two, and you will still find more of it when you look at question four and five if your question paper goes up to question five. But mostly question four and five are your integrated questions and because they are integrated you can expect to find your maps and scales 
but heavily you will find maps and scales in paper in question two rather and there's going to be also some sprinkles of it in question three in the question paper that is linked in the description box below you will find that your maps and skills questions start with as early as 1.3 there are it is not as heavy in 1.3 as it would be in question two but you can still see that there are some maps and scales questions that you can expect to find in there with maps and scales by the way you need to be comfortable with your knowledge of maps different types of maps you need to go find your different types of maps and be able to say this is this kind of map because there's going to be one of those questions that will ask you what type of map are we looking at so you need to be comfortable with your different types of maps and then also your different types of scales we have a bar scales and numerical scales not only know the types of scales but be able to use the different types of scales be able to use a bar scale and also be able to use a numerical scale and finding your scale factor is also going to be one of the most important things that you will need to be able to do you need to be able to interpret a map so make sure that you practice interpreting a map there are different questions in the in this channel that we have covered maps and skills but the one that i want you to go specifically look for in terms of a video on this channel that we have done that covers maps and skills is actually last year november's scope so if you can find the scope from last year november especially those of you who are going to be rewriting what you can expect is that your may june examination is going to look very similar to your november 2024 examination so make sure that after you are done looking this into this video Go find last year's paper two scope and what you will notice first and foremost is that the structure of the question is going to be the same as this one. Topic number three on your scope for paper two May June examination is going to be everything that has to do with measurement. So when we were talking about maps and scales, I said to you that maps and scales are going to be the second largest topic when it comes to your paper two. But what's going to be the largest topic is going to be your measurement. So your paper is going to be very heavy on measurement. If you have noticed, most of the questions that are going to be in your 20% level 1 questions have to do with the topic of measurement. Like we said, they are the simple things that relate to measurement like defining your parameters and converting from one system to another or even in the same system converting from meters to kilometers from kilometers to meters. So all of those things are measurement but it's just the conversion of it. So as you can see that in 20% level one questions, as much as they are the easy questions, they still relate with measurement. So if you have started, studied your measurements, starting with those simple things, you will be able to cover your question one, level one, 20% questions, as well as measurement as a topic itself. Measurement as a topic itself will be heavily in your question three and is going to be probably your largest question in your question paper there are going to be different types of things that you have you are going to have to calculate for in terms of measurement so you know that when we're dealing with measurement as you are seeing here here we're looking at a 2d shape of a circle and they're asking you questions about a 2d shape of a question but in this same question paper that is in the description box below, you will find that there is also a different question where we are looking at a cycle, but this time it is actually a cylinder and you will still have to do some calculations based on that. And then on top of that, there are other questions that have to do with other shapes like your rectangles and your square as well as your prisms and cubes so total surface area is going to be very important for you to be able to calculate packaging is going to be also very important for you to get comfortable with a question on packaging and also a question on calculating your 2d shapes meaning your areas and your perimeters being able to calculate them most likely they will be integrated into a question so a question can integrate total surface area as well as your 2d 
shapes in terms of your area as well as your perimeter not forgetting your circumference make sure that you are also comfortable with circumference so that is your scope on measurement the fourth and final topic on your scope is going to be probabilities or probability Probabilities on its own is never a standalone question, meaning that it is actually almost always an integrated question. That's why in your paper one, you will notice that you also have probability because probability can be integrated into different questions. So where you will find probabilities in terms of your paper two, you will find it in your question four and question five if your question paper goes that far. So for most of you, your question papers are going to go up to question five so for question four and question five you will find some questions on probabilities but those questions are going to be integrated with the main topics of this paper which is maps and scales as well as measurement so as you are seeing with the example that i have given this is from question four you are seeing that it is a cut off a question on maps and scales you're looking at a scale of of one is to 65 they're showing you a map of a house or rather a house plan so basically that you have seen that you are now seeing the traces of maps and scales in this question and when you're looking at your questions in 4.2.1 they're saying the measured length of a main bedroom is 3.4 centimeters so that takes you to a question of measurement so you're already dealing with measurement because you're dealing with centimeters and then it continues to say calculate the real length of the main bedroom using the given scale so it's a question of maps and scale that is integrated with a measurement however when you move on to 4.2.2 it says what is the probability of choosing a door that opens to the eastern side so you are seeing that it is a question that is based on maps and scales it has some elements of measurement in it and then right there in it they are asking you a probability question so basically when you look at the full question paper it's going to show you this full house plan and then you're going to see where is the east the south and the west and it will show you all the doors that are available and you will be able to determine the probability of choosing a door that opens to the eastern side so this question in 4.2 actually is a good indication of what indicates what you can expect your probability to look like in your question paper it's going to be integrated into other questions and you will find it around question four and question five by the way i should mention that our question paper yes it is meant for deaf learners but it is still the same quality that you can expect your question paper to be so don't be intimidated by it or even take it for granted because it is exactly on the same level as any question paper you can expect now if you need one-on-one -on -one help with anything that we have covered in this video or this subject in general we have a visual program that can help you with just that from anywhere in the country all you need is an email and a whatsapp and we are able to give you personalized help for a monthly fee this will cover full lesson recordings as well as notes and study materials for any of your subjects that you need personal help with this will include some of the subjects that are not even covered on this channel for example ch subjects like history you will soon see our full subject list we will also cover scopes for those specific subjects as well as attempt past papers together but what's most important about this virtual sessions is that you get full-time communication meaning from the hours of 8 o'clock to 4 p.m you are able to send in your questions even if you send them at late between the hours of 8 and 4 you will get replies to your questions you will get to go back and forth and get full-time attention on any question that you do have even if we have to repeat something over and over again you get to have that personalized help that is helpful to you as you can see with some of the examples there we get to exchange scripts we get to exchange question papers and you get to show me what it is that you wrote and you even get markings for your questions to see how you actually do perform when it comes to a specific question or a specific subject 
grade 10 to grade 12 as well as those who are upgrading and rewriting those are the full list of subjects that we do offer if you are interested in any of this for you to be able to get your price quotation it is very simple all you have to do is email me on that email address that you see there when you do email make sure that in the subject line you write your name and say name and then in the body of your email that's where you will tell me your grade and the subjects that you need help with it can be one subject or it can be a mixture of subject hands we are saying that you need to email for you to be able to get your price quotation now because this is one-on-one -on -one, it means that it puts a limit on the number of people I can take per month so I'm going to be limiting it to 10 students per month so make sure that you email to secure your spot have youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below